four, five. Hello, my name is Julia. Hello, my name is Mark. Hello, my name is Marta. Hello, my name is Paula. Hello, my name is Anna. And we will present to you the secret of the ocean. Uh, the sunlight zone uh, from, uh, from zero to 200 uh, meters, there are the seashore and the waves. Uh, there are a lot of light and the temperature changes about the seasons. Uh, the puffer fish is a carnivore fish um, which lives in a sunlight zone. Um, there are more than 120 species of puffer fish in the world. Most of the puffer fish are found in the tropical and subtropical waters, ocean, ocean waters, but some are found in, in the British and fresh water. They eat invertebrates and algae, and, algae, and it's probably that they use their poison to catch their prey. Predators. Uh, biologists think that and puffer fish use their famous ability in flavility to protect him, himse himself from, from predators. But also it's probably that, that when predators see that they get bigger, they go away because they, they search for, for puffer fish because they swim very slow, but when they see their poison and that they get bigger, they go away. They have long prepared bodies with bulbous heads and they can be of different colors. They can be one inch long, so that's like 2.5 centimeters long, to two feet, 71 centimeters long, long in length. They don't have scales and they usually have rows to skip the sky skins. They have four teeth fused together in perfect line form. Uh, two curiosities are that um, predators such as tiger, sharks, and sea snakes um, are the, are the effect for are an effect effective? are affected by the poison of puffer fish. And also, it's still used that in Japan. Uh, um, some puffer fish are eaten, um, and this food is called fugu. Mm -hmm. like, it's it's considered as a delicacy, right? Yes. Ocean currents. What yeah. are the currents? An ocean current is a continuous reactive movement um, of seawater generated by forces acting upon these nutrients, such as breaking. And tides affect affect current reaction and strength. Um, ocean currents are measured by Svenja, where a one spectra are equivalent to one million one million meters per second. Types of currents. There are three types of currents. Surface currents. The surface current affects are affected by the wind and are reproduced in open oceans. And now we can show you a little thing. Hi, Bianca. Thanks for meeting me here. I had a taping earlier today. That's cool. I've had a little bit of experience in front of cameras. Dr. Adam, we learned about density currents, but we need to learn more about surface current. Right, and climb means change, so a thermocline is a region of temperature change. Where is the thermocline? Typically between 50 and 150 meters deep. So how do surface currents form? Friction between the wind and the surface water causes that water to move. We learned in the case of mysterious red light about global wind patterns, and then winds blow in a certain direction depending upon where they're located on Earth. Currents around in the tropics. But are there other factors? Well, sure. Because the Earth rotates, there's turning due to the Coriolis effect. Isn't that when the wind is deflected to the right in the northern hemisphere and the left in the southern hemisphere? Yes. And another. And 
Here I'll show you that um, the Coriolis effect is uh, one type of current that uh, is the, in the northern hemisphere is like uh, clockwise, mm -hmm. and in the southern hemisphere is the opposite. So they are... The direction of the water goes like a clockwise, right? Yes. Like a, in a clockwise direction, right. Deep currents. Deep currents are moving very slowly b because of the salinity and the, the pressure of the water. And here in the deep currents um, move slowly and then when they come to the surface they are moving faster and they, are, and, and they become warmer. Shakespeare. Shakespeare is one of the most famous explorers of the history. He was born in 28th of July in 1922, and he died in, in 1 of November in 2008. He was a Swiss oceanographer and engineer. He was the first man of the world, the world to arrive to the Mariana Trench, the most deepest place of the ocean, with 11,000 meters. Why is he famous? Jakes was welcome to the US Navy to show his submarine, called Tester. Recognizing the value of Tester, the Navy began testing the submarine for greater depths. The submarine was able to reach depths of 7,315 meters, so they planned a voyage to the bottom of the sea. On January 1960, Tucker reached the bottom of the Mariana Trench, located in the western North Pacific Ocean. That is the deepest area of the ocean. And these are some images of the submarine that was published yesterday. How was the voyage? The descent took almost five hours. The GSK had no scientific equipment, and no experiments were done. The mission was just to prove that the wreck could be reached. The descent progressed without incident until 9,000. And the crew heard a loud drum. However, they continued the ride until they touched the bottom at 10,960 meters. They stayed 20 minutes in the bottom and then they returned to the surface in 3 hours and 15 minutes. And this is an image of how deep is the Mariana Trench that is here. And here is where the sperm well lives. And here were the Italic um, sink. If you put the Everest in the other way, it arrives here. So there is a large distance from the Mariana Strait. Very well. A big clap for that. How did you do it? It's a good we did with a for the experiment. Okay, explain us. How did you make it? We make it. We put 